with it, I suppose. Uh, next topic up, Banner Society and SB Nation. Their college basketball, college football coverage has been furloughed from May 1st through August the 1st. Now, we're not going to talk a ton about this, but, you know, it really, it it sucks. But you, you could have seen this coming a mile away. And this isn't the only company that's going to be doing this. Vox Media owns SB Nation. And where most of SB Nation's money comes from is from their podcast. You can get a ton of people to visit a website. But if you don't have really good contracts with different companies, uh, you're not exactly making a bunch off of website clicks. It, it nope. just doesn't work like that. Unless you're Peter King and you got millions of people reading your stuff every day, right? So uh, you need something more than just that. You need podcasts. And with podcasts, the way that you make money is through advertising. Well, in a situation like this, with an economic freefall, the first thing that a lot of companies do is they cut some of the fat, which they think that advertising is the fat. The truth is, you've got a lot of people out there looking for content right now. Uh, now, it may not just be matter. podcasts. But the advertising is fat because there are only certain businesses are making money and working right now. And so those people don't have to advertise because they're the only game in town. Amazon's not advertising with anybody. Why? That's true. Because they're the only game in town. Kroger down the street's not advertising because we know they're open and nobody else is. Yeah. That's the, that's the thing is the people who are advertising, who would normally advertise on podcasts, are not because they're not essential businesses. Or or they're cutting back on how much they're actually spending with these companies. Yeah. So that's... Uh, so. That, that's the way it goes. But, yeah, Banner Society, uh, one of my favorite college football uh, content creation teams with Spencer Hall and, you know, Every Day Should Be Saturday, that bunch, uh, Jason Kirk, you know, and, and the PAPN guys. Uh, Richard, um, oh, God, I forget. Richard Richard Smith, is that it? I forget. Either way, Richard and Alex that do PAPN while, uh, while Godfrey's out on uh, paternity leave. Um, you know, those guys... Not going to be doing anything for the entire summer. Uh, right now, you know, they're, they've are they all kind of offered to go on other shows and whatnot just in the meantime while they're while they're not doing anything. More than likely, we'll, uh, we'll probably get Jason Kirk on. We'll get some of the other guys on with us uh, just to keep them busy, just to keep them doing something. That's my plan anyway. So we'll uh, we'll see. I've already reached out to Jason. Hopefully he'll, uh, he'll hop down with us at some point, and uh, we'll have some nice college football conversations while he is not working for... Uh, Vox Media. Uh, an interesting part about this, though, uh, Vox was going to just cut the staff. They were just going to completely cut the staff, and Vox Media, uh, the the workers, formed a union last season during football season. And they formed a union to have a seat at the table. This is what they said, uh, especially during rainy days. Well, right now it's pouring. Together we will able to avert layoffs, save jobs, enhance severance, and more for our members. Uh, they said, while we appreciate Fox Media talking to us in good faith, we don't agree with the company's decision to furlough employees, especially after hundreds of us told the company we were willing to take water pay cuts to save all jobs. So, we fought for strong protections. We want a guarantee of no layoffs, no additional furloughs, and no additional pay cuts through July 31st, along with enhanced severance for any layoffs that occur in August through December. The company also agreed to reduce the number of furloughs. Our wins for the furloughed employees include full cost of health insurance paid for with copays and deductibles reimbursed during the furlough, buyout option that adds four weeks of severance to our CBA guaranteed severance, and a guarantee that they will not be replaced by contractors. Uh, none of this would have been possible without the solidarity of our 350-plus members. We are mobilized and we are united. We urge Vox Media to work with us in the future should the need arise to prevent layoffs and further furloughs. Um, Matt jumped in on YouTube. He said, worst time to stop advertising is when things dip. Everyone spends money when times are good. You have to stay on top of it even in the bad times. I agree, 100%. But that doesn't mean the companies don't cut that advertising. Is what it is. Chris, you uh, you got any thoughts on the topic? Oh, no, I just disagree. I mean, I, I just don't I, don't, I don't think that's, I don't think that's right. That's a, I don't. I think that you can cut advertising some, like a lot of these businesses can't. I mean, obviously restaurants are closed down. Like, they, why would they advertise? I mean, there's no point to. You start advertising back when you when you do whatever. But these online businesses and whatnot, uh, Manscaped and whatever else that that you hear on every podcast. Uh, but Safe a lot space. of those places are still advertising. 
Yeah, a lot of them are, but a lot of them have cut uh, a good portion of their advertising. So that's that's where it becomes a problem is, okay, well, you're still... But they cut their advertising because they see a dip in people buying. And, I mean, it could be because there's 20... What is it, 22 million people in the country right now that are unemployed? Is that yeah. what it is? I mean, it's you're going to yeah. see a dip. That's the way it I goes. Mean, congratulations, you built a brand with people that have no money to buy your product. Awesome. Yeah, that's good job. It's kind of a problem. Kind of a problem. Yeah, I that's, get it. We we want to make sure our demographic is uh is strong uh, for advertisers. That's a big thing. Um, you know, hopefully we've got a very well educated, uh, you know, financially uh, conscious demographic. I'm hoping that's what we've got. If not, yeah, you'd be broke and dumb and listen to us. That's fine. Yeah, you can listen to us too. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, but I am hopeful that you guys are taking care of yourselves. That's what I want. That's what I want. So, I want everybody. I want the whole world to listen. But, we'll see. Either way, let's go ahead and jump into 